Hello YouTube and welcome to another SQL Server 2019 database tutorial. So in this video I'll show you how to restore and backup SQL Server database. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, let's launch our SQL Server Management Studio. So it's the main GUI that allows us to uh, restore and actually uh, backup our database. So you will see it's actually pretty easy to do it using this GUI. So let's connect using the Windows credentials. Here we go. So as you have seen on my last video, we have created an Acme database. Okay. And also I create a table here, as you remember, employee table, which has some records. Okay. So let's say that you want actually to uh, back up this database. So the process is pretty simple. All you have to do is to right click on the database. So in this case, it's Acme database. So right click on it go to tasks and choose as you can see here backup okay so it's pretty easy here we go and you get this interface here okay so here the source of the database is actually acme but you can choose any other database if you want okay so i will keep with this one so the recovery model We'll keep it as a default sample and here for the backup type you can see that we have full and differential so full it will actually backup all the database and the differential will just backup the last changes from the last full backup okay so in order to keep it simple I will choose here full backup okay and here under the destination so you see we have to backup it to a disk and by default it will be backed to this path here with the extension dot b a k okay but you can use another uh, actually path in order to store your database but it's recommended to actually uh, backup it to another disk or in share in your network in order to avoid any data loss or failure or even hardware failure. So this is the main purpose in order to backup a database because you can you know that the backupping a database is actually a daily process and it's very important because it allows you to recover in case of data loss or hardware or software failure okay we can also use a script for backupping so here you can see there is a script so if we script our uh, things here so you can see you can actually use just the script in order to run the backup of your our database okay so there are different methods to backup a database so you can use the GUI as I have shown you here or if you know the SQL language, you can just use this. Actually, here we are using Transact SQL because it's the default language for querying databases in Microsoft Word. So you can use this script here in order to backup the database. So let's run it and see what we get. So all you have to do is select all and execute. So you can see here we have query executed successfully okay because actually it's quite small database so it didn't take too much time to backup it up okay and of course we can verify that the file has been created acme.backup if you go to this uh, path here so let's go to this path and see if we really have our backup file 
and indeed you can see that Acme that backup has been created okay so now let's say that we want to actually restore database and for that I'll be using a sample database provided by Microsoft called Adventure Works. So if you open your browser as you can see here and just you type Adventure Works sample database you will be directed to the Microsoft website when you can download this sample database called Adventure Works. Okay. So here as you can see all versions of SQL Server are supported and there are actually three main categories for this database there is OLTP version, data warehouse version and lightweight version so you can choose whatever backup you want so me I have chosen this one AdventureWorks 2019 backup and I downloaded it it's around uh, 200 megabytes and now I'll show you how I can restore it on my server okay so in order to restore this database it's pretty simple so here as you can see I have only the Acme database so now I will try to restore AdventureWorks database so all you have to do is to right click on this directory databases and choose restore database Okay, as easy as it seems and of course here we have to choose the device because we want to restore from device okay and we click on this three dots so me I put it on my C drive so here the backup media type is a file and I have to add it so I will click on the add and I will go to my C drive and this is AdventureWorks backup that I have downloaded from the Microsoft website. So I will choose it. And of course, it has as an extension back for backup. Okay. And I will hit OK. And another OK. Okay. So you can see now that the device has been actually directed to this file here. The name of the database is AdventureWorks. Okay. And the destination is AdventureWorks also it will be the name on my server and of course you can go to the files here and see the location of the files for the database restore so by default our database will be located here so this is the data file and the log file will be located in this directory but you can choose to relocate all files to a folder so if you want to restore the files for the database in other disk or network storage you can choose to relocate the files to folder okay and as we have done with the backup we can also script this so instead of using uh, the GUI we can just use the transact sql so i'll show you here the script for that so this is the simple script so instead of using the GUI you can also use this uh, transact sql language in order to restore it so it's we have a couple of keywords restore database so this is the name from disk okay so in this time let's keep it up with this GUI here and let's choose actually OK in order to restore our database so here you can see the progression and the database adventure was actually restored successfully OK and here if you return to the left bar you can see our database has been restored to our server so let's go inside and see the tables so here is the tables that this data sample database contains okay so there are a lot of tables let's let's just choose one for example uh, let's say products 
and query some data and his there is on the bottom you can see the table uh, products with all different columns on it okay so the process actually was pretty simple pretty easy to use just so you have two options actually you have many options but the main ones are just using the GUI or using the transact SQL language so that was just a brief introduction how to backup and restore your database using SQL Server and here we are using SQL Server Studio Management Studio actually as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye